120 FPS just got released on the new gen. And I'm going to be showing you all the gameplay of it. As it literally came out last night, we're going to be putting it to the test to see if new gen can actually maintain 120 FPS at all stages of the game. First, we'll load into some really high intensity scrims and see with a lot of players if it can still retain that 120 FPS prompt. Then we'll hop into Arena and I'll show you how much FPS you get from the start game all the way to the end. So that you know what you're buying if you're looking to get or just super interested at 120 FPS on new gen. Other than that, boys, please drop a like. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. You don't understand. Please go drop a like. It takes two seconds. And shout out to XX Xavier 12 He actually won the shower from last video. And if you want to win a shower just like him, all you have to do is go down and comment 120k the most. I believe Xavier only commented it around eight times. So just make sure to comment around eight times and you'll probably have a really good chance to win. Also, subscribe for more console tips. Always helping you console players out. Give you the best controller settings and ways to edit faster and build faster and overall get better. Definitely make sure you subscribe because I guarantee you, you will regret it. Don't. But other than that, let's hop straight into the gameplay, boys. Let's get it. Surrounding me, there is currently 16 players in this tightly packed scrim. If I go into my settings, I do have the 120 FPS. FPS mode turned on, and you can see it's at the top right corner of my screen. So let's put it to the test in the scrim right now. Ooh, get destroyed, buddy. So I actually usually play on a PC, and so far it's actually pretty similar, I cannot even lie. Oh, buddy. Holy, that was close. Okay, so we're currently sitting at 120F solid right now. But do you have a feeling that is just because we're in creative? When we do hop into arena solos in a minute, I have a feeling it's my struggle. Currently, you know, I'm in the late game right now, and it's feeling pretty smooth, even with some really good input delay. Boiling down to a 1v1 situation. Just hold him in zone. Woo! And we secure the dub for our first Zone Wars game. Overall, solid, very easy, 120 FPS overall. Now let's check out a public Right, so we're now going to drop into Arena and test how much FPS we will get from Zone 1 to all the way to end game. I've seen a few people actually get around 90 FPS. So let's test that and see if this is true or if we will keep 120 FPS the whole time. I really do doubt, as I'm sure it will drop. But let's test it and get into game. So currently sitting in the bus, we do have 120 FPS. But as you will notice, there are no volumetric clouds around me. That is because with the 120 FPS option, it actually does make the game look a little bit worse than usual. But it's totally cool for me because I want FPS over quality. So I decided to drop Salty Towers. Hopefully, it'll make the game lag a little bit and we can really test it. Oh my god, bro. This guy just scared the hell out of me. Woo. Okay, we that a nice little easy kill there. Looks like there's a few more kids underneath me. So if we can go pick them up. Oh, nice. Yes, we're still chilling at 120 FPS, but the one thing I do notice switching over from creative to public matches, the input delay is slightly a little bit worse when moving my camera around and editing and things like that. But it's not too bad, especially compared to the old gen. It's definitely better. Oh my god. Woo! Okay, it's getting a little heated right now, boys. It's getting a little heated. And we're still chilling on 120 FPS, which is great news. This guy just scared the hell out of me. Oh! He just got destroyed, baby. A little summary though for your landing spot. Seems to be you contain to have your 120 FPS even if you land at a really high contested spot. However, input today is slightly bad, but not too bad and not very noticeable. And everything is pretty smooth. So now let's hop into the actual mid games and see what that is like. Right, so we've gone to our first mid game fight right now. Woo! Finished him up nicely. As you can see that, I don't know if you guys saw that, but the FPS did drop a little bit, but it wasn't anything crazy, and we still seem to be maintaining 120 FPS, which is a really good sign. I have noticed, though, the, the input delay is getting slightly worse as we go in later into the match, so stay tuned to find out how much worse it gets, or the FPS even dropping down lower, because the zone is still fairly big. Ooh, nice little finish up. There is actually something I wanted to tell you guys about though. This is just that overall, I'm actually a PC player and so far in my experience, it is actually a viable option. Of course, I still prefer PC as at the end of the day, I do get more FPS. If I was having to play on an Xbox or a PS5, I honestly wouldn't mind it and it's actually not too bad, you know. Oh, wow. Ooh. I don't know if you guys overreact to me lasering him there. There is another thing that I wanted to mention to you guys. That is, I kind of feel like on the new PS5 and the new Xbox, the aim assist is kind of a little bit stronger. I don't know why this is, but I just have a feeling like it is. Maybe a placebo, I don't know. Overall, mid-games, it seems like it started to average around 110 FPS and was very laggy, but wasn't too bad. Now let's jump into the end game. 
Alright, so we are currently moved into the end game right now, and there's currently 11 people left. And honestly, and the FPS is really fluctuating right now. Just a minute ago when I was in a battle, it was actually down to 90 FPS, which was kind of weird. But right now, while I'm chilling, it's still on 120 FPS. But the input delay is getting really bad, and it's kind of affecting me quite a lot. I'll update you guys in just a second. So we actually finished there in sixth place. But basically, overall, in the end game, it's very congested and the input delay gets really bad. But 120 FPS seems to be no problem. I imagine in some very high end scrim lobbies, it might get a bit more congested and you might drop a bit down. I actually, experience around 90 FPS in the end game. But yeah, guys, other than that, make sure to drop a like for the YouTube Rail Room. Make sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more console tips in future, as I'm always helping you guys out on console. And go ahead and comment down 120k down below around eight times, and you will probably win a shout out next video. Other than that, guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.